best place to put a barn owl nest box is in a building. The building will provide more shelter for the owls, the box is going to last a lot longer and indoor boxes are cheaper. But if you don't have a suitable building, the next best option usually is to put a box in a tree. The first thing we need to look at is choosing the best tree. Barn owl nest boxes are big and they're heavy, so you need a pretty big tree to hold one of these boxes up and the thickness of this trunk is about the minimum that you would want to attach a barn owl box to. Now barn owls are not attracted to boxes. That is completely unattractive, but that is very attractive. It's the hole that will attract the barn owl's interest. So wherever you put a barn owl nest box, you must make sure that the hole is visible to a bird just flying past by chance. So this tree is pretty much ideal, just about big enough. We could put the nest box up there and over there, look, we've even got a field of really, really good rough grass where the barn owl could forage. You don't have to put the nest box in the field of rough grass. Barn owls are perfectly capable of commuting across unsuitable habitats to reach a strip or a patch of really good habitat. And the fantastic thing about this tree is the hole into the nest box is going to be visible for miles around. Barn owls are not woodland birds. So if we've got a block of woodland and we're looking to put a barn owl box up there in a tree, well, ideally don't. Choose an isolated tree, but if that's all you've got, then choose a tree right on the edge of the wood and the ash tree just there with the bare trunk that is way and above the best place to put the box and I'll explain why a bit later on. Even better than that would be an isolated tree. Look at the one on the horizon over there. This tree looks perfect. It's got an elevated canopy and an exposed trunk so we can put the box up, the hole into the box will be seen for miles around. There's even a convenient branch on the side where we can rest the ladder while we're putting the box up. Perfect but there is one reason why we will not be erecting a nest box here. Less than a kilometre away is a major road. Don't erect a barn owl nest box within one kilometre of a major road like this. Barn owls are killed here frequently. If the road is screened for many kilometres on both sides by high hedges or closely spaced trees, a barn owl will fly high when it crosses the road, that might be okay. But in most circumstances, just don't erect a barn owl box within one kilometre of a major road. This first oak tree, perfectly big enough for a nest box, but leaves are obscuring it. For seven months of the year, you wouldn't be able to see the entrance hole. The tree at the back there, another oak tree, you can see on the right hand side, there's an exposed branch and part of the trunk is exposed. You could put the box there. The hole would be visible at least from this side. Wow! Look at the size of that. That is the perfect tree for putting up a barn owl nest box in a tree. It's not in the woodland, it's out in the open. That's been growing for about 300 years. It's been dead for about 20 years, but it's still got its branches. So we can tie the ladder to a branch. That'll be nice and safe. We could even put the box on a side branch. That really is the perfect tree. Let's face it, most people don't have the ideal tree for a barn owl nest box. But this tree at the bottom of somebody's garden was made suitable simply by removing some of the lower branches that would have obscured the entrance to the nest box. So even in a less than ideal situation, it's often still possible to encourage barn owls. This is a barn owl box in a caravan park close to a minor road, but it's fine for barn owls. They can tolerate all kinds of activity and disturbance as long as they've got somewhere to hide and a nest box is perfect for hiding in. Now, if we put the nest box on the side of the trunk, it wouldn't be quite high enough. Remember, we need that three meters height. So we've actually got the box a bit higher within the branches of the tree. And this is perfect for young barn owls coming out of the nest. They've got branches right in front that they can perch on. This Barn Owl Trust nest box is 10 years old and it's still as sound as the day it was made. So to recap, 
Your site needs to be in an open landscape, not urban, not dense forest, and not within one kilometre of a major road. And the nest box hole needs to be visible to an owl flying past by chance. You can find more information on the Barn Owl Trust website and if you'd like to make a donation to support this work, that would be wonderful.